Okay, um, since we kind of touched on modeling a little bit, I'm going to continue on that vein for just a little bit. I'm going to switch this to a three-axis vertical mill, um, just for simplicity's sake. Uh, I'm going to create um, I'm going to stick with this 4x4, four four, but uh, I'm going to make the top 0 and the bottom 8 inches down. Uh, create a new part called Loft. And I'm just going to hit on a couple, in a couple of videos here, I'm going to hit on a couple of different um, modeling options uh, just to make sure that we're kind of clear you know, what they are. Um, I'm going to turn the coordinate system grid off just for clarity's sake. I'm going to open my geometry palette and I'm going to draw a circle that is, uh, I forgot how big I made this, four inches, two inches each way. Uh, so I'm going to make it a two inch radius circle, like that. And then I'm going to make a hex that is two inches to the corner, like that. Uh, I'm going to take the hex and I am going to go to modify force depth. I'm going to force that to the bottom of the part, which is minus eight inches. So that's what we got right now. All right, now I need to be able to synchronize this, so I'm going to take the circle. Uh, I'm going to take the circle and I'm going to split it up. So I'm going to under plugins, I'm going to go to Geo Edit Split, and I'm going to equally space this into six pieces. Which does that. Now, uh, if the circle splits did not line up with the hex, I would then need to rotate the circle to make it match, but they match up just fine. All right, so. What I'm going to do now is open my solid modeling palette and I'm going to do a loft. Probably should have done a revolve first, but I'm going to do a loft and I'm going to loft this to this and I'm selecting the same, uh, the same, you know, the matching element uh, because it's going to synchronize those and say do it and I get that. Now, uh, sometimes you may find that on one piece or the other, this sync line is drifting off, uh, especially if there's a big difference in the length of this piece of geometry from that geometry, in which case I can synchronize all the way around. Uh, I just have to do it in order. So I would do you know, either one, two, three, four, five, six, and then do the, in the same order here, or you could do one, one, two to two, three to three, four to four, five to five, and six to six. And I meant to bag that. And then, um, yep, I missed one. Yep, one, one, two, two, three, three, four. Four, five, five, and six, six, and we'll see what that does. And so, if if, if you do have problems with this sync line drifting, which it didn't on the first one, uh, you could do you could synchronize it all the way around and, and force sync this to that. Uh, but it's usually not necessary if they're close to the same size. Uh, and, and no, you know, drastic variation. Uh, you know, be aware that this is a spline calculation from this point to that point. Um, so, uh, you know, it, these are not necessarily going to be ruled surfaces. They're not necessarily going to be perfectly flat, uh, especially if you start twisting this thing. So, if I were to say take this and sink it to that. We go to here and you see it's starting to get smaller in the middle. Um, the sinks still seem to be matching up pretty well though. Um, so, um, um, 
be aware of that. I'm going to trash all of these. I'm going to take this and I'm going to force it to minus 4. And then I'm going to take this, this shape here and I'm going to modify duplicate and force depth. I'm going to force the duplicate to minus 8. So now I've got this. So now I'm going to take this and sync it to that and then sync it back to this. Okay. So, um, so lofting is pretty simple. Uh, you can do more complex things. Uh, I could take this and see if I can cheat this real quickly. Uh, I'm going to offset that, uh, say an eighth of an inch, and take the inside one. I don't need this outside one. Uh, I'm going to take this inside one. Yeah. I've got my pointing tolerances, my, my pixel uh, tolerance on my mouse fairly slack because this this is a uh, 3D connection to be able to do the 3D mice. Um, and it's extremely, it's so accurate that at the default settings I have trouble selecting stuff because my eyes aren't good enough to get the very tip pixel of that arrow exactly on what it needs to be on. So I'll loosen up the tolerances. Uh, so I'm going to take that inside circle now, and I'm going to uh, I'm just going to translate that up uh, an eighth of an inch. All right, now I'm going to synchronize that. Uh, actually, I'm going to synchronize that to that to that and back to that. Now. I probably should have, and, and I will. I'm, I'm going to take this one and offset it as well. So uh, I, I don't have to, but uh, but that'll that'll make it fit better. All right. So I'm going to take this. No, I'm going to start on the outside. I'm going to take that to that to that. Come around and back to here, and then end there an eighth inch before it gets to the floor. Uh, and let me get you closed and go back to here. And so we made a really strange cup here. Uh, but it's just starting here, coming up through here, back through here, looping around and going back through the inside. So, um, and that is lofting. Uh, if you want to play around with that for uh, a few minutes, uh, and then tomorrow morning we'll look at revolving and sweeping, um, and uh, and that'll be a, a decent introduction to the tools for modeling. And then we'll get started on on y'all's part. <laughs>